what's going on guys welcome back to another new video and by the way things are starting to add up and more and more information coming out is there a true video what we're talking about is the drama get the event that's happening right now as we speak now as you guys see with the video the title of the video we we should discuss something here like like i said this is just the first domino effect that's going to happen it's the first domino effect Okay. And if you guys haven't seen it, this is what Dexter's looking like right now. Well, hopefully he's looking a little bit better. Bloodshot eyes because good old boy Mark Thornton gouged his eyes out. Was trying to poke it out for real. I mean, there's blood dripping out of the nose. Listen. It's a sucky thing. By the way, just to let you guys know, this photo right here is being given to you guys by Andy Omar. I want you guys to actually look at Andy's take of the whole thing. He just put out a new video today. But before we continue on with what I wanted to talk about is I want you guys to maybe go ahead and the link down below, put a link to my new reaction channel. We're going to start putting out more content over there. Starting next week, we're going to be reacting to a lot of videos. Um, in the Philippines, about Filipinas as well. And the main topic is to really give you guys a deeper dive in things. So if you want to see those videos, we're going to start pumping them out next week. So right now, don't forget, go ahead and subscribe so you get, you get notified. So, okay. So the question here is, did Mark lie? There's going to be guys that's going to be saying yes. There's going to be guys saying no. There's going to be guys that are saying, Sh shut the F up, Mike. Just let it be. No. Like I said, I got my popcorn. I'm watching this. This is my reality TV. But here's the problem that's going to happen here. Because one thing is, I pointed out several times that there are several things that's kind of suspicious to me here. Right? There's more than meets the eyes, like the Autobots say. Here, here it goes. No matter what, Mark did assault this guy. And more than likely, he's going to go to jail for that. Whether one day, two day, whatever it is. It all depends. The next thing is, if Mark did pr pretty much slander this guy, making those videos, but the thing though is, if those video, what he's saying in his video are lies, he's slandering this guy. That's a problem, okay? So there could be several cases, slander, assault. Doesn't matter even if this guy instigated the fight, doesn't matter if this guy was part of the fight. He said, she said, that's what's gonna happen. But here's the problem that's gonna happen here. And this could be an, an educational thing for a lot of you guys as well. In the Philippines, you know, they have the notion of innocent until proven guilty. But the problem is the justice system in the Philippines is very slow. You may be stuck in jail for a long period of time before you actually get your time in court. A good example that I want to bring up is there's this guy who... His neighbor was jealous of him, accused him of doing stuff to her, and he was in jail for over two years. Over two years before he could actually prove that the allegations were false. Two years before he could even get a trial. It got to the point that when it finally got the system into the system, they said, well, there's not enough information. Let him go. But the problem with the guy is he ended up overstaying. So he then had to hide a little bit because he overstayed. And they were, and the government was going after him for that. So a lot of stuff can happen here. Here's the next thing. Mark, okay. He's been interviewing a lot of people. And a lot of people feel comfortable around him. A lot of people let him interview them. Okay? 
And apparently Mark is pretty good at juicing you out of your information. Kind of pretty much, let's say, for example, someone who wants the information so that he can use it to you later on. A lot of people has alleged this of Mark. There's several YouTuber guys that have mentioned this, put it out there as well. So that's a problem as well because he has information of you. So I honestly feel that Dumaguete is going to start losing more men. More men are going to be leaving soon. Okay? Why is that? If Mark is guilty of what he did to Dexter, what do you think somebody who gets sent to prison is going to do? He's going to try to lower his sentence. How do you do that? Well, some birdie's going to start chirping. And for a lot of these guys in Dumaguete, you guys better start worrying what were you sharing while you were drinking, whatever, when you were around, when he was around, you not knowing he's listening, taking notes, because he's going to be able to lower his sentence by giving you guys up. And here's the thing that can also happen. Mark was, you know, I would say leading the witness, Steve. He was leading Steve a lot with a lot of those conversations, okay? Steve up there. He was leading the conversations a lot kind of putting certain things in. And that's where I was saying, that's kind of weird that he's doing that. And a lot of people actually um, picked up on that without me really sharing that. So think about it. He was trying to plug in that Dexter here is into younger underage Filipinas. Or at this, or he also kind of allegedly stated that Dexter is at least into young Filipinas that really have not fully developed. He uh, he put that out there. Okay, whether it's true or not, if it's not true, it doesn't matter. Slander, but still, he's going to start saying those things. It's now going to go ahead and kind of open up the the system a little bit for the prosecutor. Because what would the prosecutor want? The guy that is in for assault or the higher judgment of getting a foreigner who's been what? Doing diddler stuff. Now, my problem with the whole thing is the only time Mark starts squealing about this is when he had problem with Justin, when he had problem with this Dexter guy. That's when he starts putting it all out there. But he's known that for so long. So my question is, oh, only when it serves your purpose, but you're still okay to hang out with those people. Which then also questions the other aspect. Even Steven knows the stories, but he still was being friends with Dexter as of recent. He has admitted that he was in the same house. I'm sorry if I'm if I know this guy who's literally opened up his mouth and that's what he was it he was about. That's the life he's about. Number one is I'm gonna stay away from him, especially if you're an ex-cop. I'm gonna stay away from that person. And at the same time, is what happened to see something, say something. But it only is it's okay until. You start acting like children, and now you want to have this little big fight. That's when it starts going out there. But before that, you're okay holding on to that and hanging out with them. And also having your women around him. So if these guys, right, Mark and Steven, is knowingly having problems with him, or knows things that he's doing, he's allegedly doing, then why are you letting your wives around the guy? Think about that. Now, here's the thing. I don't know anything what's going on with the Justin guy. From what I'm, from what I'm seeing, he's got a successful business, or his business is running. I've seen the inside. It looks great. Good marketing. I'm seeing great marketing stuff. 
I don't know him as a person. So I'm not going to cast any judgment on that. But one thing that I know is the email, right? The email that was being talked about, nothing in the email so far is a lie for the reason that Stephen and Mark confirmed that pretty much everything that Justin was talking about in the email is true. So the problem is, there's going to be guys who don't even know it, that if Mark catches a case, they might be given up to be the lechon, the roast pig. Because when somebody goes to jail, they want to minimize the time spent in. Or they may not want, they will not be charged if they give up a bigger fish. And what is a bigger fish other than just a basic assault? I want you guys to think about that. I want you guys to understand that there's going to be more talks in the future that guys are leaving Dumaguete in droves because they're scared. Why? Because you open up your mouth to a YouTuber that is interviewing you guys about your everyday story. And you're, if you did lie a little bit, because a lot of people have pointed out a lot of the guys that Mark has interviewed has lied. White lie, gray lie, whatever lie it is. Because a lot of guys want to embellish themselves sometimes. I won't fault them for that. They're trying to vie up for the local Filipinas that's available for them. But I want you guys to start thinking about this. I want you guys to start looking at each other. For you guys from Dumaguete, I want you guys to look at each other right now and ask yourself, what dirty, nasty secrets were you sharing with Mark or you've shared around in a table where Mark was there? If Mark is guilty, He's going to go to jail for the assault. If there is the videos in which Andy Omar has still photos of the video from the outside of Ground Zero, okay? So if he goes to jail, what are things that he's going to do to lessen the jail time or not be charged? We see this happen in our justice systems in America all the time. Sometimes the user ends up giving up the dealer. The dealer gives up the distributor. The distributor gives up the person that wholesales it, and the wholesaler gives up the makers. Pay attention to that. This may be just a domino being flicked in the beginning for the whole thing to start dropping down. What do you guys think before you guys go? Don't forget to go ahead to Filipino Reactions. Link is in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next live or the next video. So you guys go ahead and take care. Have a good one. Let's start talking. Take out the popcorn. Don't tell me how you feel So quietly next to me